Hi, my name is Romeo Carvalho, and today we're going to talk about a new module implemented inside UnityBase, which uh, does a performance evaluation for classification systems. Um, so for that, I'm just going to use an example here. So I go open a software, open a, a network. I'm going to examples based on network, um, and then I'm going to choose this one here. I'm going to choose to open the probably recent network. There you go, this is our network. Well, here I'm just, uh, you, you can just see on the network what we're really trying to, to do is classify the target node by having all these different sensors. Um, so let me just resize this to fit better. And you can see here that using those sensors, UHR, modulation frequency, center frequency, PRI, PRF, those are information, evidence that I collect in order to try to classify the target type. So using a standard Bayesian network, you would uh, compile this network and you would see all the marginal probabilities. And once you enter some evidence, uh, let's say for instance, you know, you, the UHR, um, sensor identified it as blue one so the evidence goes to blue one here and you can see that it's just 20 percent for the tiger type given the, the prior information but once i compiled that information now it went up to 35 percent and so uh, as i change more information for instance if i say that well the detect rate now it's gonna be i'm sure that i got this detection so 100 percent and i propagate you see that the blue went up a lot more for 54. But not, that's not all uh, we really need. We need information that is, for instance, how does it work when I combine with another sensor? So let's say um, if I add the sensor, how much more do I gain on the target identification? You can see here that you got a higher value. But how do you come up with a measure that tells you how good sensors work together? and which sensor is better than the others. What's the best cost benefit of adding new sensors? So that's what this tool uh, is about that I'm about to show you. So if you go here to this evaluate probabilistic network, uh, we're gonna see the same network here on the side. I'm just gonna change again the names to resize it so we can see it better. Um, then the first thing we have to do is actually enter which one is the target uh, node. So in our case, the target type is the node that we're trying to identify. So let's say we just have information about the UHR node um, that is going to collect evidence. That's the only, let's say, sensor we are going to measure the performance about. You can see here that I can also change the cost to see what's the benefit, uh, cost-benefit ratio from how much the sensor contributes to my target classification and how much it costs to, to add that uh, sensor. So here, let's just choose a sample size, and I'm just going to choose uh, 100,000. Uh, we click and run, you can see here that the progress is going. And we just, guess, we just get a probability of 16.67% of contribution. However, if we have information about the condition, meaning, oh, let's suppose we can actually know, uh, detect that uh, the detect rate is going to go to 100% to go to yes. So let's just say here that we have detect and we run again. So we change the conditions of our network. So let's say we have like range in, in range uh, and, and some other information that makes the detect go up to the, the detect uh, yes state uh, comes higher. And then how does that influence the sensors, the data that I collect on my sensors? So now you can see that probably it went up. But how, how does it work? Uh, once I add more information, let's see, let's uh, add another sensor and let's compute again. And you can see, as expected, as we add more sensors, uh, the probability of the classification performance actually goes higher and higher. Uh, and some information that you can actually hear here, uh, see here is, well, this is the probability of correct classification. So how much all these sensors combine actually contribute to the classification uh, of the, the target uh, node we're looking at. But we can see here individually how much each one um, contributes. 
So the contribution for just UHR is 28%, and for modulation frequency is 18%. But combine, uh, once you put both together, how much each one contribute. So you can see here in the marginal improvement, it's how much more this uh, node contribute to the set of other nodes I had before. Um, so you can see that I improved 11%. Uh, so if you add this to the marginal, meaning everything but this node, this sensor, you get the total probability of correct classification. And here is the confusion matrix that actually allows, it, allows us to come up with that number. So you can see here the, the probability of correct classification is an average of the diagonal. And you can see the values are actually much higher for row 1, row 2, red 1, row 2, but when it goes to information that we don't really know about neutral and unknown, the values actually get a lot low. Well, uh, how, what happens if I actually adds all the sensors that usually I'm going to use? So if I add sense, uh, pure F, uh, center frequency, pure I, and we compute that value again, uh, is this going to help me? Well, now you can see the improvement of having multi-sensors, right? The probability now went to 70%. And you can see here individually how they, they contribute. So individually, you have a UHRs that contribute the most, 28%. Then goes the other ones that are pretty much 19 18%. But you can see the margin improvement also, meaning all the other nodes together, they would give you a margin probability of 34% without the UHR. But once you add it, uh, you get a margin improvement 35% and it goes up to 70%. So you can see here that even though uh, individually the UHR contributes just 28%, uh, uh, it actually contributes more once it's added to another set of sensors that you have. So here the marginal contribution is actually larger than the individual uh, contribution for the probability of correct classification. Uh, and again, you can see here the diagonal and see the probability of correct classification, that's what we're interested in. So with this kind of tool, you can actually uh, allocate resources and see what's the marginal cost. The lower marginal cost in this case would be the, would be the better one because they all have the same cost, but the one that improves the most is the better one to use. Um, so I think this, uh, this is what I wanted to show you today. I uh, hope you enjoy. If you have any questions, please let us know. Just send an email to us and we'll be glad to answer. Thank you very much. See you.